Welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 6.3, we see how to format text in a view. So first, we see how to choose the item to be formatted, then how to change the font and how to change the background. For this tutorial, you can use the sample project prepared at the end of lesson 6.2 available on group.net To change the format of the text we can first go to the format tab choose text style From the text styles we see that the first row says item to change we click on the right arrow here from here we can choose which text do we want to change? If we click all, then all text gets changed. If we click row and column titles, then the change occurs only in the row and column titles. Similarly, we can choose between critical tasks, external tasks and so on. Let us for example, take summary tasks. To change the font, we can simply scroll down the list here and choose the font. We can further define the font style as medium, bold, medium oblique, bold oblique and so on. We can also change the size of the text. We can choose to underline the text if we want. Next, we can choose the color of the text by clicking here. Clicking on the arrow here gives a palette of colors and clicking more colors gives an even bigger palette. So from here, we can choose the color that we wish to have for the text. Then comes the background color. This shows which color we want to add for the background. If we wish to add some background pattern, we can define it here. We click OK. And now we see that for all the summary tasks, the text style has been changed, the font has been changed and the text color, the background all have been changed. So using this we can customize it to make our project look the way we want to. So to summarize we have seen how to choose the item to be formatted, how to change the font and how to change the background. A sample of the project plan completed up to this stage is available on group.net. Thank you for joining us on this tutorial. In the next part of the video tutorial series, we see how to format and print reports.